Hey, what's up, guys? It's Andrew from Posh Designs, and today I have episode 27 of my weekly series called GFX Tip Friday, where I go into Photoshop, After Effects, Cinema 4D, or another demanding editing program, and I'll show you guys one tip that can be used in everyday editing. Now in today's episode, I'm going to be focusing more on After Effects, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use 2D transitions inside of After Effects. Now a lot of people may think that 2D transitions are going to be a little bit more hard, they don't really know their way around in After Effects, but actually for a designer and just a motion guy, um, it's not really that hard, and actually After Effects really minimizes um, the kind of effort that you actually have to put in to your design, just because it kind of does it for you just by the click of a button. So uh, I threw together a 5 second reel just to show you guys what we're going to be working with so let's take a look at that all right so as you guys see right there a lot of cool transitions and it may look like it took me a little while to put that all together but actually it only took me about three to four minutes so uh, let's hop into After Effects and let's get started. So right here in After Effects, I just want to make a composition. So I'm going to go to Composition, New Composition. I'm just going to lay down a 1920 by 1080 with about five second reel. And I'm just going to go to Layer, New, and I'm going to lay down a solid. So it really doesn't matter what color you use. I'm just going to use a more gray color for this. And then what I want to do is go back up to Layer, New. And I'm going to go down to Shape, Layer. And the shape layer, what we want to do is come over here to the little square and click and hold and just kind of select whatever uh, shape you want to use. I'm just going to use an eclipse for this. And I'm just going to hold down shift so it maintains the aspect ratio. I'm just going to make myself a standard circle. So right here, I do have a circle. And with uh, the click of about two buttons, we're going to be able to make a transition uh, happen on this guy. So I'm going to click on shape layer one. I'm going to come up here to effect. I'm going to go down to transition and then I want to select one of these guys. Now these are going to be all of the transitions that uh, After Effects will give you as the default so definitely take a good look at these kind of mess around with them and see which ones you like. Uh, a lot of cool ones are uh, just made right here in After Effects and they're really easy to use. So I'm just going to show you just one of them just so I don't have to have this tutorial be really lengthy and everything like that. You guys can get the gist of it. I just need to show you guys how to use them. So uh, what I want to do is just go down here let's say uh, Vanity and Blinds. And when I click on Vanity and Blinds, this new tab is going to pop up right here. And what I want to do is kind of zoom in on my circle a little bit. So I'm just going to scroll in a little bit. And we see Transition Completion. So what we want to do is we want to scroll on our timeline to whenever we want it to come in. So at about one second, I want this to come in. So what I want to do is scroll the Transition Completion all the way up to 100%. So if I have it all the way up to 100%, I just want to hit this stopwatch on the time frame. And then what I want to do is just kind of scroll on over to when I want it to end, uh, when I want the image to actually appear. So I want my circle to pop in at about one and a half second. So I'm at 1.30 on my time frame, so I want to take this down to 0% now. And now that we see, we, our circle is fully there now. So if we just kind of pre-ram this, we'll see how it happens and what it looks like. So it's going to look something like that. And if I zoom out on it now, uh, it's going to look something like this. So really nice transition, really gives a really nice feel to it, and this actually is one of the main transitions that I've been taught to use in 2D work, just because it looks really nice and clean. It doesn't look um, too kind of out there and stuff like that, it's not too in your face, but it does give a really nice look to any 2D project. So whether you're making it an intro, a kind of just a video for your channel just to advertise, or even just a promo video, definitely is going to be a really good one if you're using 2D um, work. So I hope this tutorial helped you guys out. Definitely hit uh, the transition and definitely just kind of mess around with the transitions and see which one you like and uh, make one of them your signature move kind of in all your motion videos so if you guys do have any questions or concerns please drop them in the comment sections below I always see uh, I always like seeing what you guys have to say and uh, help you guys out as much as possible if this video did help you out please give it a big thumbs up it keeps GFX for tip Friday coming at you guys and uh, it'll bring more episodes for you guys of course well, guys, until next time, my name is Andrew from Posh Designs. I make quality graphics for free, and I make your visions a reality. Phenomenal, my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home. But my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh. oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home. But my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh. Fuck.
all that shit, just let me go Oh, words and tastemakers, makers, no chaser Gets the blood flowing like a fucking pacemaker